This is Rena with Lilo Crafts coming on today with my very first Saturday morning makes uh, project of 2022. And what Saturday morning makes is, is an open collaboration hosted by uh, Jill Norwood. She goes by um, Jillian Norwood is her channel name. Um, and it is open to anybody who would like to share anything that they have been working on every Saturday morning. And you just use the hashtag SatMornMakes um, so everybody can find your incredible creations. And so um, please, if you haven't joined in, I know she would love it if you join on in. And I will link her channel in the description box below. So today, what we're gonna be doing is making these little, um, actually they're quite big, lollipops. And these measure, um, um, about five and a half inches in a diameter and about 12 inches in height from the bottom of the stick to the top of the lollipop. So these would be so great. I'm going to put these in my uh, little tree that I have over here and make a, a Valentine's tree. But um, you can also take these on into Easter. You can put them on packages, put them in a vase. There's so many great things that you can do with them. So without further ado, do let's go ahead and jump on in okay let's start with the items that you're going to need if you want to make one of these lollipops so the first thing you're going to need is some kind of styrofoam base and i purchased almost all these items at the dollar tree so um this comes uh this disc comes two to a pack so i just purchased one pack of that um, uh, you need something to cover this with. So now you can use a paint if you would like, but I am trying to use up things in my stash. So I have these cupcake liners, and so I'm gonna use those as uh, a thing to cover up, but you can use paper, paint, anything you would like. You need definitely some low temp uh, glue. This is my old hot glue gun. Um, you're going to need a skewer, and a straw to make uh, the stand part. You're gonna need some kind of mesh tubing also from the Dollar Tree, um, any color that you would like. Um, you're gonna need these little foam beads from the Dollar Tree and I chose these pastel colors. And then um, you can use a paper heart or um, anything you would like. I'm using this to accent the bow and I'm gonna use one of these little felt um, felt parts and cover them up with these little beads. And then I'm using, lastly, um, some ribbon. This is ribbon that I hauled from AliExpress and I love it because it has tiny little hearts in it. I thought that was so sweet. And then in the spirit of using things that um, I have in my stash, I've had this for a couple of years. I bought on sale at um, Walmart after Christmas and it's just like white snowy tinsel. And I'm gonna use this as part of um, part of the bow. So, uh, and, and again, you can use tool, like if you have any of this tool like this, you can use that. Use whatever you have. Be creative about how to use your supply. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cupcake liners and I'm gonna smooth them all out and then I'm going to center them onto this foam and I'm gonna glue it on down and um, I am going to decorate both the front and the back side, but if you only want to decorate the front side, that's totally fine. That would be up to you. So I'm just applying glue um, close to the edge, and then I'll be putting a little bit in the middle here. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, move this over, and it works really great on styrofoam, and since we're gluing onto styrofoam, I thought that would just be the perfect choice. So you just want to make sure you smooth it all out. Um, and there you go. So I'm going to do that um, also to the other side. So now that I've got this cupcake liner glued down onto both the front and the back, the next thing I'm going to do is start with the mesh. And um, I'm going to put this mesh onto the side um, because I want the sides to look pretty as well. And I'm going to be using my low temperature glue gun 
to glue this. I did not try it with my um, high temperature glue gun. I'm just using the low temp because this is, I don't know, it seems like it's plastic or something. So I just thought I would start with this. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna, you don't have to do it all the way around. I'm just going to place some uh, glue and just hold it in place while, um, so it can um, set and hold this mesh in place. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go around um, my entire um, my entire disc like this and I'm gonna do it twice. Okay, so I've got my first um, layer around and when you come to the place where they're gonna overlap and you're gonna crisscross, I'm going to actually put some glue down here and put some glue inside of that tube I'm going to push down and I'm gonna put this here and that way they will kind of overlap each other and you won't really see the seam once that dries. So now I've got that down and so I'm just gonna go ahead and go around and put the second layer of the mesh on. Okay, I've got that second layer on and I'm gonna do the same thing here where they meet. I'm just going to cut it and then I am going to put some glue underneath um, and I'm gonna put some glue in the middle so that the raw edge isn't showing. So you can see it looks all nice and tidy. Okay, so now that you've got the edges all done, the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to go right around the edge here so you're not gonna see the white. And so what I wanna do is start at that very same place so all the seams are in the same location. So I'm going to put my first piece of, or my first dab of my hot glue right there, right on the seam. Little dabs, and I'm gonna go around the edge of the cupcake liner. And so right to the edge, and this is just the right width to go ahead and cover up the white in between. Now, when you get back to the beginning, um, you are going to, you've now made it a little flat there because that's where you're going to cross over and start to begin your lollipop swirl. So I've crossed that over. I'm putting my first piece down right here gluing that down and then I'm just going to put little dabs of hot glue and um, what's nice is because this tubing is circular it um, really goes into shape so easily okay I have wound that all the way around and I'm on the last part which is this center and I'm just going to put some glue right there and I am going to push a little bit on the edges um, to try and tuck that down and to hold that in place. Okay, and the other thing I'm gonna do is just pick off all the little glue strands to clean that all up. And you want to repeat this process on the other side. So this is what it looks like, isn't that cute? Okay, now the next thing um, that I like to do is to put some of these little foam balls in the channels so that it looks like this. So um, to do that, I did it two ways. Um, the first thing I did was I took this uh, Beacon foam adhesive or yeah, foam and poster board adhesive and I filled all the channels and I just stuck the uh, nose right between the mesh and then I just continued to squeeze and fill the channel in with this glue. What I did was I took my little foam bead container and I just clipped off a tiny little edge of it um, so that I could just shake, shake, shake these little foam beads um, in. And so I'm gonna start with about like that much and I'm gonna press them into the channels. Okay, now that you've got your little beads glued all in, this is kind of what it's going to look like. And so the next step is you're going to go ahead and put in your skewer. So this is um, the uh, standard bamboo skewer, and I'm gonna go right into where the middle of where all of these meet so that it'll be nice and hidden. And you use the pokey end and you just 
slide it right on in and give it a nice push. There we go. So it's in there nice and good. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue a straw on. And so all I'm gonna do is take this straw, I'm gonna feed it over the end of the skewer and I'm gonna tilt it upside down. I'm gonna put a good dollop of uh, glue around the base um, to hold it in place. And I'm gonna push it in so you don't see the edge of the straw. So I'm just gonna hold that in place um, until that dries. And then you can see that I've got a little bit of extra space, um, a, a little bit of this skewer showing. So I'm just gonna take my wire cutters and I'm gonna go right on there and clip that little end off. Okay, so now we've got our little lollipop in essence pretty much done. Now we just get to decorate. And so um, one of the first things that I'm gonna do is I am going to take this little foam heart and as you can see, I have a few straggler foam beads over here. I'm going to cover this with some hot glue which is again, the low temperature glue. And I'm just gonna take these balls and I'm going to fill this little heart up. Okay, great. So now we have a foam bead covered little heart. And again, you can make this out of paper, especially if you have a, a paper punch, you don't have to use these felt uh, hearts. But since I just purchased those, I thought, hey, I might as well go ahead and use those. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of my tinsel and I'm gonna figure out how long I want it to be. I want it to be about that long. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece off. And again, you can use this tool um, and any color that you have for this. So um, I'm just going to put my hot glue right there and I'm gonna glue my little tinsel in and have it stand out just a little bit. Okay, I love it, I love it. And I'm gonna take my pink ribbon and I am going to tie a double bow. And so um, I need kind of a bigger one. So I'm gonna stretch my fingers out as far as they can go. I'm gonna go ahead and make this double bow. I have a, uh, a video on how to make um, a finger double bow. And so I will include that in uh, the description uh, below. I'll include the link to it. So if you want to see how I make my double bows, you can go in there and, um, and click on that link. So I'm just pulling these tight. Okay, there we go. And here is my sweet double bow. Oh, I love it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the ends and I'm going to dovetail the end by uh, cutting them in a triangle. So what you do, you just fold in half, fold the ribbon in half, and then I'm gonna try and measure approximately the same, and then just cut on an angle, okay? So there we go, all right. So I've got my double bow, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this, put some glue on the back, and just glue this right onto my straw like that. And then I'm going to top it with this sweet little heart that we made uh, filled with those same little candy balls, well, really foam balls, but they look like little candies. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. And there you have it. So if you did it with the iridescent, that's what it would look like. And if you did it with the pink, um, this is what it would look like. Um, so there you go. Well, thank you so much for stopping by today and seeing my first two little Valentine projects. And these can take you right on into Easter as well. So um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.